So what's up, uh, guys? So uh, here at the Paddock Philippe booth, uh, here on the first day, first day of the fair. Delighted to be here with um, uh, Philippe Barat and Jasmine and Steele, um, my two buddies. And uh, let's rock and roll. Let's look at some watches. Yeah. Before I've even seen it, before I've held it in my hand, I've already ordered a watch. So I've already asked for the uh, the Nautilus uh, from my, my friends in Singapore. Uh, white gold uh, Nautilus perpetual calendar, which is apparently the thinnest watch in the collection because it's using the 240 uh, caliber, the legendary 240 caliber space. Yes. Uh, micro rotor. Right. Correct. But anyway, let, I, let me not interrupt you. Please go ahead and show us whatever you have under your beautiful uh, We'll thoughts. start with an anniversary. Great. Seems like every year we have a, an another one. Yes. <laughs> That's the joy of being nearly 180 years yes. old company. Ah, wow. Ellipse. Amazing. The ellipse. The golden ellipse yes. celebrates 50 years. Fantastic. So with two uh, new models, yes. uh, one model adding the, the collection in the <coughs> jumbo size where we already have in the collection mm -hmm. a platinum version with the classic uh, blue gold dial. This is a rose gold version Yes. with a black dial. Yeah. Thank you no, so much. The Golden Ellipse was uh, designed by an internal uh, designer. It oh. was uh, Mr. Rubli. So this, this, this is good. Mr. Yes. Rubli. This is good. Uh, was a designer at the time in the company. We don't know exactly who took the decision, who had the inspiration. There were several sources yes. historically. In fact, there, there's a chapter about that in, the, in the biography. So, so Mr. Ribley, it was an internal designer. Yeah. And he came. Out, and what was the motivation to create the the ellipse? Well, the, the the inspiration yes. was the golden section. Okay. The perfect the, the proportion. It, it was it was a creative work of. Uh, I stand corrected. Looking, this is really interesting. Looking for. Yes looking for a, a new design at the time fantastic and so this uh this uh design and this, was the, was this, this was the result this was the result fantastic. not in this size and not exactly the the same uh, proportions and in fact it's important to say it's an inspiration of the golden section right. it's not the exact mathematical so rule. it's not exactly the golden ratio yeah no. but it's quite no. Close. It's it's close yeah. and Quite close. because people who uh, hear it's the perfect interpretation of the golden section. Yes, and they they come from mathematics background. They, actually, they, 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 they calculate and, uh, yeah. really, and we we do get some comments saying it's not the exact proportion. So it's right. Okay, it's so for, for those of you who are, are, are calculating the mathematically, the proportions of the watch, it's not exactly the golden ratio, but it's very close, correct? Exactly. Yes, exactly. And it's close to the beauty, yes. the golden section. So the, okay, so let me see if I get this one right. Out. The golden ratio is apparently a mathematical formula based on the harmony of forms that happen in nature, right? Exactly. Correct? Proportion, yeah. and, and even the human body, if I'm exactly. not mistaken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. So, uh, rose gold and a very nice touch is also the uh, black onyx on the, on the crown. Yes. A feature that we don't have in the regular collection. So, this model is entering the regular collection. And then we have a limited edition. Wow, cool. In the rare rent craft version with a dial that is uh, decorated by hand yes. with a gold plate. The dial is a gold plate. So it's a piece, a mass of gold. Massive gold. gold. Yes, exactly. It is Jean Levé. Jean Levé, yes. Uh, ma machine Jean Levé. It's so unusual to be putting an at Patek Philippe in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yes. We'll get used to it. Right, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Jean Levé, uh, decor of volute. Yes. Then uh, hand black enameled and uh, hand engraved on the uh, volute motifs. Stunning. The case is in platinum. We also have a uh, black onyx on the crown. Bring it through. And this one is a limited edition, you say? Yes. yes. So this is Jean Levé on a piece of massive gold. Jean Levé means they excavate material from it. And on top of that, there's a layer of enamel, is that correct? Black enamel, black and grand feu. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And uh, then hand engraved on the, on the volute. Um, what is uh, also very nice is the back. We mm. have uh, engraved the anniversary, golden uh, ellipse d'or in French, 1968, it's 2018. Even older than me, by one year. Yeah, well, still young. <laughs> very young. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so this is a limited edition of uh, 100 uh, pieces. Okay, great. Um, they are delivered in a box with the, the cufflinks, uh, cufflinks oh, nice. that have featured the same uh, handmade decor on the 
on the cufflinks. So 100 piece limited edition, and the cufflinks I take it are in platinum as well then? Uh, yeah. No, they're in white gold, in white gold and okay. uh, they are uh, delivered as a set. As a set, 100 mm. pieces. That's 100 a great set. Pieces. I don't know if you're going to give the Thank prices you. later. No, don't worry. Thank you. Okay, Thank so you. that's uh, Golden Ellipse. Then you get this tired. is a fantastic so watch, incidentally. <laughs> this is Michael Tay's favorite watch. Yes. This is the Great. woman's chronograph, but yes. it actually the way in which it's created with the crystal, the Bombay crystal on the yeah. top and for the back, it's crystal. fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, replacement of the uh, ladies' first chronograph that was launched in uh, 2009. Mm -hmm. in, this is great. Uh, with, with the new movement, uh, CH29250. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, a development of the team of Philippe yes. I featured six uh, patented uh, inventions. Wow. So this new uh, round, classic, uh, more classic style, or vintage style, ladies. Tracy, what are the six patents related to this movement? I'm afraid I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know one. <laughs> a precise jumping mini-counter. Something that I think the gear team will also look good. Yes, flexible. yes, yeah. yes. Philip will, will uh, sleep over <laughs> <You this>. guess. <laughs> so, and what, what, is, uh, what underlines this uh, beautiful uh, vintage style is the box wow, that's uh, crystal sapphire glass oh, on the top and watch. at the bottom. Now, would you ever consider to make this watch for men? Because at 38mm, it's fantastic, you know? Uh, we well, we have we have uh, we have uh, this movement yes. in a man's model, but in this size, you know, fifty-seven and eleven. Uh, no, but the quoi? No, la cinquante une septante. Cinquante, oui, fifty-one seventy. Because I mean, the size is fantastic on this watch. That's perfect, and for a man, it's perfect. Yeah, it's you know? a nice size. Yes, yeah, a good size, thirty-eight it's millimeters. Fantastic. And even the dial, the you like the dial. The dial is fantastic. The fact that you're using Arabics, I mean, come mm -hmm, on, it's mm -hmm. like super collectible. Yeah, you know? it's beautiful. And it's like a and the uh, the lugs also beautiful vintage style. It's amazing. Lugs. Even the hands that you're using, these sort of officer shaped hands are fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's great. You don't think that'd be a great man's watch? I think that'd be an amazing man's watch. Philip, you're gonna make it for a man's watch. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> we have to convince Sandrine Stern. Sandrine, make it in, make I it noticed that. Design. Make it in yeah. Yeah. It's noted. Yeah. And so what's fantastic is the it's box, the, <laughs> the box uh, sapphire glass, as as you know, enables with this uh, uh, high heel, yeah. enables a very wide opening on the dial. Therefore, it it, it feels so much bigger than bigger. 38. Yes, yeah, exactly. And, and the, the bezel is so fine as well. You readability know? and the yes, most the, beautiful the part is wow. the back. Wow, that's amazing. Because on the back, uh, with the box sapphire glass, that's you incredible. have a total opening on the on the movement. That's killer. That is a beautiful movement. And uh, it seems like it's uh, hanging in the air. Yes, and honestly, it's the perfect size. It'd be a great man's watch. Yeah. Good. We'll we'll, well, we'll give this we'll message see. to Thank you very much. creation. <laughs> oh, but this is great, also. These are so cool. I love these. These that you discovered yeah. on Instagram, yes. the Calatrava yeah. Pilot Travel Time. Yes, and I like I like actually even the smaller size as well. I think it's great. Yeah, we saw a lot of comments uh, yeah. about the size. That it was thirty-seven point five millimeters for ladies, uh, or for even men. For men <laughs> you know? But the smaller size uh, was considered as a very nice size. Okay. So, so what's new is uh, the first time that we introduced the ladies' version with um, self-winding movement. This is 37.5, is that yes. correct? Yes. So the, this on 37.5 on my wrist, actually, I feel it is a nice size. I mean, how do you feel, feel it? Yes, I'm very <laughs> good, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. great. Size, I think it's amazing. Yeah. It's absolutely wonderful. And for the men, so it's an additional model to the white gold yes. version with the blue dial. We have a, a rose gold, red gold. Yes. In fact, you, we have rose gold for the ladies. Yes. It's a 4N and 5N for the 
for the man's red gold. Oh, you really? So you even went down to change to, to modifying the the component of red. No, the, the red uh, rose gold or red gold, yes. as it is normally called for men, is always five, five n. n. And really? for ladies, it's we always use four n. n. Yes. How interesting. Because uh, four n you know, goes welcome, better you know, with other well for Patek, yeah. For uh, because four n goes better if you mix it with yellow gold mm -hmm. and with the skin tones uh, is is less uh, less strong yes. less strong yes. uh, nice dial as well that we started if I remember well with the when we launched the twenty four yeah it's very nice since nineteen ninety nine we so you're saying the the dial is a brown PVD brown PVD yes it's great because it's it's got <laughs> great the gradation of black that's it like the gradation is really interesting. Yeah, so you have um, almost like a Fumé style. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. yes yeah. Fumé style. Mm. I like it. Thank you. And uh, all the work on the numerals that you already uh, know about since. Uh, May you right, we say ago. ladies and men, but. Uh, well, I would, it's I would the, work it's the first it time since uh, extremely long. Well, it's the first time we have the exact same model in two sizes yes. at Patek yes. with the same complication, yes. same movement. Cool. So. Uh, for for many uh, cultures, a uh, pair watch are Over. are missing in our which, which culture would that be? Well, it's Asian, uh, Asian it's but also also in America. Very cool. Pair watch. Great. So yeah, it's uh, it's an important uh, introduction. Thank to you so these much. Two models. That's great. Yeah. Cool. So this is the new Aquanaut chronograph, correct? Exactly. Mm -hmm. The first chronograph in the Aquanote collection, yes. and the second uh, type of complication we ever introduced in the Aquanote collection. What's the first one? The first one is the uh, travel time. Travel time. Oh, sorry, you're testing your team. Yeah, I was <laughs> but I knew it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, uh, really so cool. It's uh, one model. Yes. Uh, I'm, I just have two uh, to show the two strap yes. that are delivered with the model. Oh, so each each model comes with two straps. So. Yes. Okay, great. And exactly. the material of the watches? The material the material of the watch is white gold. Okay. Sorry, yeah. no. No, no, it's steel. Steel. The material of the watch is steel. Steel, right? yeah. yes. Very steel. Nice. Uh, so the choice of this uh, orange tone to underline the sportive style of the of the Aquanaut. Yes. And introduce this uh, first chronograph. It's also the first time we present the chronograph in this version, mm -hmm. uh, the automatic uh, chronograph uh, twenty eight. Uh, it's cool. Twenty. It's great. So, Okay. Yeah, this is a, a new model of movement with only the only counter the of si 60, 60 minute, uh, minute counter without, and without the date. The, with without the date the hour. Without, and also there's no hour counter, because before it was two on the yes. same. Mono counter yes. with the it's hour. Better. Yeah. It's, um, for this model. Lighter. For this one, yes, because it would be quite heavy yeah. otherwise. Yes. And for the first time we have uh, developed uh, a new follow cla clasp. I'm feeling it. feels good. It's a uh, patented... Uh, Folding a clasp with a improved security yes. system. Yes. Tell me about so the big orange hand. Why orange? Orange because uh, it, it's a sportive, a dynamic color. Okay. It's a creative choice, of course, but uh, and also in on the dial, mm -hmm. all the chronograph indications, hands, uh, ah, counter, orange. scale yeah. are in orange. Uh, it's not, it's no, not no, working. No. Very nice. If you could hold that up to uh, our friends on the camera as well. Probably. It's nice. And the new folding buckle is. The buckle is good. Is very nice yeah. because you have the clasp. Sorry, the clasp. And it has a uh, half calatra. Parts of the calatra cross in in the inside. If you noticed. Oh, that's cool. See. Merci. That's really cool. So the folding class actually has the color prop motif in there for the spring-loaded uh, mechanism, the locking mechanism. Mm -hmm. And the locking me mechanism has four uh, independent attach. attach. Wow. So that it's uh, more secure. Details. Love it. Thank you so much. You oh, wow. Here we have the Nautilus family. Yeah, only calendar indications. You calendar have the 5712, mm -hmm. you have the 55. Uh, no. You have sorry, the annual calendar. No, sorry, we no start problem. again. We have the uh, 
the famous 5712. Yes. We have the annual calendar version. Right. And, and now the perpetual. We have for the first time a perpetual calendar. In white gold. White gold in the Nautilus. Uh, and country. thinnest in the family, correct? Yes. Thinnest in the family of the caliber 240 uh, with perpetual calendar. It's amazing. May, may, ask me, may I? I? I'm sorry. I'm quite nervous and excited like I'm meeting my new friend, but you know, <laughs> if, I, if I may. <laughs> Thank you very uh, much. And, and in this uh, new Nautilus uh, in, in white gold with perpetual calendar, we also have introduced a new uh, folding clasp with this uh, new secured system. That is beautiful. Wow. Title. Okay, so these are big news as well. These are the 5270s, the perpetual calendar chronographs. So this is rose gold, correct? Rose gold. And when it's rose gold for men's watch, how many N is it? Five. <laughs> wow. Very, very good. <laughs> On a bracelet, which is amazing. And, and platinum salmon amazing dial. Amazing platinum uh, salmon My dial. buddy has the 559.70 in platinum on, in salmon. Uh, the one that was made for London. Mm -hmm. You know, Shari's got that mm -hmm. watch. Do you mind too? The, I think the finish of the dial is, is different on that one. It's a satin, it, it's a more kind of matte finish. That is absolutely stunning. Beautiful. So you're saying that the, the one that was made for London has a more satin finish or? I think it's a different finish of the, of the salmon uh, dial. Fantastic. Well, this is absolutely killer. Shari, this is your watch. I see you looking at it already. I know you ordered one, so it's great. <laughs> and thank you very much. It's okay. Oh, it's fantastic. This is killer. So 5270 rose gold. What color dial are we talking about here? It's a black dial. Black dial, okay. So the internet buzz was wrong. They said chocolate dial, but in fact, it's a black dial. Yeah, it's, it's the yeah. Beautiful. reflection of the red gold. Thank you so there much. There you can see it, the, the tone of the gold. Uh, Beautiful. Very clearly. And also what's new, uh, we had to, with the bracelet, we had to adapt the here you have the the corrector. The corrector. Oh, I see. Integrate, integrate in the in, in attach. Uh, yeah. Into the attachment. The bracelet attachment. Yeah. Wow, cool. Great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you as always, Jasmine. That's wonderful.